name is Brie, I'm a Harry Potter fan and a makeup lover, and today I'm going to show you a Ravenclaw inspired makeup look. I start off with applying a waterproof eyeshadow primer, then using a brush to make sure my eye is completely covered. Then I take a little black and start defining the shape of my eye. I build up the color over time, because it's always easy to add more color than take it away. Then I move on to using a dark blue on the outer corner of my eye and start to slightly blend it with the black. Then using a lighter shade of blue, I tap the color on the inner corner of my eye. Then I take a shimmery blue and add that to the center section of my eye, blending all the colors together. Finally, I take a more sheer and shimmery color and add that to the innermost corner of my eye. For eyeliner, personally, I like to use a liquid liner. This does take some practice to get used to. I start at the inner corner of my eye and create a thin line to the center section of my eye. Then I go outside my eye, I create a thin line, and I build up the layers over time and create a wing shape. Now I'll try to match the wing on the other side, but personally switching sides for eyeliner can be tricky, so don't feel discouraged if it takes longer and doesn't look perfect. Moving on, I like to add a pencil liner to the waterline, which really helps define my eye. So I carefully and gently pull down my lower lid and take the pencil liner across the waterline. After that, I take smaller brushes with the same dark, light, and shimmery blues that I used earlier and add the shadows to my lower lid. Dark blue on the outside, light blue on the inside, and then I connect them with the shimmery blue. I add some touch-ups here and there, and then I attempt to create a more pointed and pronounced inner eye. So, I extended the eyeliner past the inner corner of my eye, and I end it in a point. Then I draw a slightly curved line up to meet the pencil liner on the waterline. I definitely couldn't match the inner eyes perfectly, and that is A-OK. -okay. And there it is, it's beautiful. And I am so happy with the way it turned out, my Ravenclaw inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Remember, your makeup doesn't have to look like mine as long as you had fun creating it. And we would love to see pictures of your makeup down in the comments below. And remember to be kind and spread love and acceptance to all. Bye!